Welcome back to Ed's Technic Talks. Let's have a look at my monitor. To accompany my uh, rather good server grinder that I've got this lovely Dell P2417H, um, which you can get from a variety of resellers for about, I think it's £130, I would say. Um, and it's reasonably spec, it's full HD. 1080p supporting 8 full size HDMI display port and it's got a VGA port for those of you who want a VGA port from 2018. It's also got a USB 3 upstream port which enables you to have two USB 2 ports on the underside of the monitor and two USB 3 ports on the right hand side of the monitor. Um, that also enables you to use the um, software that accompanies it, which is the Display Manager, um, and you can do some cool tricks with that. And let's have a look at it. So, welcome to the monitor itself. Um, it's a very good monitor. One of the, the best things about this is it's got this uh, lovely height adjusting uh, sand, um, and uh, as you see, you can sort of twist it like that. Um, I'm sure you, you know that we're also reviewing the soundbar here um, and that's really easy just to put on you line it up and turn it like that so um, there's a there's a host of features that you can do here so you've got the, the menu um, and you can do you know your, your standard uh, choo choose which video input you want you've got color um, and here we're using comfort view I just find it slightly nicer on the eyes than the rest um, and I'm sure I won't bore you to death with all of those, so we'll just uh, close that. But uh, for those of you who don't want to do that, there of course uh, is the, the lovely Dell Display Manager um, sort of application here, which you can uh, use to just configure it just like you would with here. Um, and of course that works because it's got these lovely USB 3 ports. Um, and to power them, there's a USB 3 upstream port um, which connects it to the computer, um, and so that works quite nicely. Um, and it means you can just plug, I've got my keyboard plugged in the back, and something else. I don't know what else I've got it plugged in, but it's something. Um, it just makes it really easy. Um, soundbar, pretty good audio quality of recording. Um, it's got a mute microphone because sometimes that's useful um, and a cool and end cool for Skype which I've never used since having it but uh, yeah that, that, that could be useful and uh, as, as shown by the plus and minus there's a volume control unfortunately my keyboard also got one so it's not the most useful but it's something um, and uh, here's some groovy music speakers are pretty good um, couldn't ask for more. There's also, uh, I think it's a headset input um, here and a mic input of some sort um, and you can just use this button here to switch between them and um, someone who uses my computer finds that quite useful as they plug headphones in when they're playing games so that's quite useful. Um, good monitor, um, I know it's only 1080p um, at 60 frames per second, that's more than adequate for a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, um, especially the graphics. So I think it's a really good monitor, um, and I'd, I'd recommend it. Yeah. As you can see, it's a pretty good monitor. Um, hope you like this video. If you want to have a look at some of my others, they'll be somewhere. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.